Hello friends, welcome to the study of English. Today, you will learn literary terms with easy explanation. Just keep watching. Let's begin from the term fallacy. Fallacy means false idea or misunderstanding. It's an idea that a lot of people think is true, but it's false. For example, many people believe that money brings happiness, but it's not true. There are many people who are rich, but they are not happy. What is affective fallacy? Affective fallacy is the error of evaluating a poem or a text on the basis of its emotional effects on a reader. The term was coined by W. K. Wimsett and Monroe Beardsley in 1949. What is pathetic fallacy? Pathetic fallacy is the attribution of human emotions or actions into non-human things such as objects, weather or animals. It occurs when things or animals have been shown as having human feelings. For example, the sun was smiling down upon him. The term was coined by John Ruskin who defined it as emotional falseness. What is allegory? An allegory is a narrative that has a hidden meaning, the saying of one thing and meaning another. For example, Animal Farm by George Orwell. This story uses farm animals to symbolize different figures from the Russian Revolution. What is alliteration? Alliteration is the repetition of the same letter or sound that are close together. Example, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. What is ambiguity? Ambiguity. Hindi mein aspashtata. Ambiguity is a situation or statement that is not clear and has more than one meaning. What is amplification? Amplification means extension, Hindi mein vistar karna. It is used to improve a sentence or statement with additional information. What is anachronism? Anachronism is an error in the timeline or chronology of a piece of literature. For example, if a writer mentions something in his work before its invention, then it's called anachronism. What is analogy? Analogy is a comparison between two things that have similar features but very different from each other. For example, the heart and a pump. What is illusion? Illusion. Hindi mein ishara. It is an indirect reference to someone or something. For example, if somebody says, I am Juliet, to your Romeo, instantly we remind the play Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. What is an agnorisis? Anagnorisis means recognition or discovery in a drama in which a character recognizes his or other character's true identity. For example, in the play Oedipus Rex by Sophocles, Oedipus recognizes that he himself killed his own father and married his mother. What is an absurd drama? Absurd. Hindi mein behuda or bematlab. Absurd is a genre that explores the theme of meaningless, foolishness, ridiculous, or irrelevant activities in a drama, poem, or other work. An example of absurd drama, Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Godot. The genre arose in the 1950 and 1960. Major absurdist authors include Franz Kafka, Albert Camus, Samuel Beckett, and Eugene Ionesco. What is antithesis? Antithesis means the opposite of something. For example, Love is the antithesis of hate. What is ballad? Ballad is a poem or song that tells a story. It describes stories in the form of a poem or song. There are two types of ballad, traditional and literary. Traditional ballads are folk songs of unknown authorship, having been passed on orally, while literary ballads have a known author and it's written. Example of literary ballad the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner by S.T. Coleridge. What is blank verse? Blank verse is a poetry which has no rhyme, but follows iambic pentameter. Example, John Milton's Paradise Lost 1667. What is free verse? Free verse is a poetry that has no rhyme and meter. It's sometimes referred to as open form verse. Example, T.S. Eliot's The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock. The difference between blank verse and free verse is blank verse follows iambic pentameter but free verse doesn't follow any meter. What is burlesque? Burlesque is a type of writing or acting that tries to make fun of serious subjects. 
example, Samuel Butler's poem, Hudibras. There are two types of burlesque, high burlesque and low burlesque. Example of high burlesque is, The Rape of the Log, by Alexander Polk. What is catastrophe? Catastrophe, Hindi mein, tabahi, barbadi, ya durghatna. Catastrophe is a sudden event that causes great suffering or destruction. For example, earthquake. And, in the play, Oedipus Rex, catastrophe, has been shown when Jocasta hangs herself and Oedipus stabs himself in his eyes. What is catharsis? Catharsis means purification or purgation. It is the process of releasing strong emotions such as pity, fear, sadness through literary or other artistic works. For example, in the play Hamlet, Oedipus Rex, Romeo and Juliet, strong emotions have been shown. The term catharsis was coined by Aristotle in his work Poetics. What is Comedy of Manners? Comedy of manners is a comedy that satirizes manners of a particular social group, especially the upper classes. Ek vishesh samudai, especially upper class logon ke tor tarika, yani behavior par vyangya karna. It flourished in the restoration period, that's why it's also known as restoration comedy. Examples, William Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing, William Congreve's The Way of the World. What is Comedy of Humor? Comedy of Humor is a dramatic comedy that focuses on a character or range of characters in which each major character is dominated by an overriding humor or obsession. Pratyek character par atyadik, hasya, ya junoon havi hona. It was developed by Ben Johnson. An example of Comedy of Humor is Johnson's Every Man in His Humor. What is Confessional Poetry? Confess matlab, reveal karna. Confessional poetry is a poetry in which the poet reveals his or her personal details of past life. The genre emerged in the United States during the late 1950 and early 1960. Example, Sylvia Plath's poems, Daddy and Lady Lazarus. What is didactic? Didactic means a teaching. It's a teaching or instruction through a play, poem or other work. Usually the themes are religious, moral, political or philosophical. Examples are books, fables, parables, instructional manuals, etc. What is diction? Diction, Hindi mein shabd chayan. Diction is the choice and use of words and phrases in a speech or writing. What is dramatic irony? Dramatic irony is the situation in which the readers or audience in the drama knows something that the characters themselves do not know. For example, Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. The audience knows that each lovers are alive, but neither of the lovers knows that the other is still alive. What is dramatic monologue? Dramatic monologue is a long speech delivered by a single character in a poem, play, or story which reveals the character's thoughts, feelings, or motivation. It's a part of a poem, play, or story. For example, My Last Duchess, poem by Robert Browning. To be, or not to be, speech from William Shakespeare's Hamlet. What is devotional poetry? Devotional poetry, Hindi mein, dharmic, ya bhakti bhav kavita. Poetry that expresses love, worship, or prayer. They're most commonly religious in nature. For example, To Find God, by Robert Herrick. What is detective fiction? Detective fiction means a story or novel about mysterious crime or murder in which a detective investigates the crime to reveal its culprit. The first detective story was The Murders in the Room of 1841 by Edgar Allan Poe. Sherlock Holmes and C. August Dupin are famous characters of detective fiction. What is dissociation of sensibility? Dissociation of sensibility means the separation of intellectual thought from feeling and emotion in a poetry. The term first used by T.S. Eliot in his essay, The Metaphysical Poets. He used the term to describe the fault of some of the late 17th century poetry. What is unification of sensibility? Unification of sensibility means the union of thought and feeling. According to Eliot, the unification of sensibility produces good poetry. 
and the cause of bad poetry is dissociation of sensibility. Eliot believes that a poet may have the best ideas to convey, but they are useless until they come out in the form of emotion or feeling. A poet would be one who would be able to convert his ideas into feelings. What is an elegy? Elegy. Hindi mein shok geet. Elegy is a poem or song that expresses sad feelings, especially for somebody who has died. Kisi ke marne ke baad, jo feeling mehsus hota hai, isse kavita ke jariye express kiya gaya, to is kavita ko kahenge elegy. Examples. Walt Whitman's O Captain. My Captain, which mourns the death of Abraham Lincoln. Thomas Gray's Elegy written in a country churchyard, which laments the death of common people. What is eulogy? Eulogy is a speech or writing given at the funeral, praising the person who recently died. Mrit vyakti ke janaja ya antim sanskar par jo speech kaha jata hai usse eulogy kehte hai. What is epitaph? Epitaph means writings or words that are written on the gravestone dedicating the person buried there. Mrit vyakti ke kabr ke upar likha hua shabdon ko epitaph kehte hain. What is epistle? Epistle means a letter. Kavita ke roop mein ek chitthi. Epistle is a poem or other work in the form of a letter or a book of the New Testament in the form of a letter. What is epithalamian? Epithalamian is a song or poem in honor of a bride and bridegroom and celebrates the marriage. Shadi mein gaane wale geet. Example, Edmund Spencer's poem, Epithalamian. What is an epoch? Epoch, Hindi mein Mahakavya, another name is Haroak poem. An epoch is a long narrative poem that tells the story of heroic deeds normally accomplished by supernatural beings such as gods, angels and demons. Examples of famous epochs are John Milton's Paradise Lost, Homer's Iliad, and Odyssey, Vyasa's Mahabharata. What is enlightenment? Enlightenment means the act of enlighten, the act of educate. The Enlightenment was an intellectual movement in Europe from the late 17th to the 18th century when many writers and scientists began to argue that science and reason are more important than religion and tradition. This period is also known as the Age of Reason. The Enlightenment was heavily influenced by 17th century philosophers like Descartes, Bacon, Locke, Voltaire and Kant. What is Existentialism? Existentialism is the exploration of the nature of existence with emphasis on the experiences of humanity. Example, in the play Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett, Latimer and Estragon are trapped in a seemingly meaningless existence as they wait for Godot whose identity and purpose remain unknown. What is Fable? Fable is a short story, often using animals as characters, that gives a moral message or teaches a lesson. For example, the fox and the grapes, the lion and the mouse, the tortoise and the hare. Aesop is best known for his fables. He was a Greek fabulist and storyteller. What is fairy tale? Fairy tale is a story about magic or fairies, usually for children. Example, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast. What is folklore? Folklore, Hindi mein lok sahitya ya paramparagat vishwas. Folklore is the traditional story and culture of a community or country. Folklore includes tales, mythos, legends, proverbs, poems, superstitions, etc. What is formalism? Formalism was an artistic or literary style that is more concerned with rules or forms of grammar and genre, such as meter and syntax, than with expressing feelings or meaning. Formalism may kisi grant ya kavita ke bhavnao or tatparya se jada grammar or style ke upa adhik mahatwa diya jata tha. Formalism first emerged in Russia and Poland in the early 20th century. In Russia, it was centered around Moscow and St. Petersburg. The Moscow Linguistic Circle was formed in 1915 and it is considered to be the starting point of formalism. What is Russian formalism? Russian formalism was a school of literary theory and criticism that flourished in Russia around 1915. It describes two distinct movements, 
the opujas in english society for the study of poetic language in st petersburg and the moscow linguistic circle russian formalism do movement ko darshate hain opujas or moscow linguistic circle viktor sklovsky roman jacobson boris ichembaum yuri tynyanov boris tomashevsky grigory gukovsky or vladimir prop russian formalism ke mool nayak aur lekhak the what is new criticism new criticism was a formalist movement in america in the 20th century which emphasized close reading of a work to analyze the content such as by looking at themes structures meters etc the movement derived its name from john crave ransom's 1941 book the new criticism in focusing on the text itself New critics intentionally ignored the author's background and the reader which is called intentional fallacy. John Crow Ransom, I. A. Richards, Cleant Brooks and W. K. Wimsett are significant writers of new criticism. What is Polish formalism? Formalism also developed separately in Poland with the works of Kazimierz Wojciechowski who is considered to be the founder of Polish formalism. It was heavily influenced by Russian formalism. The Polish formalist school was established by Manfred Kridal and had centered in Warsaw and Vilno. What is Gothic fiction? Gothic fiction means any story or novel that has the elements of fear, horror, mystery, death, gloom, magic and supernatural events. Most of them written in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. For example, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, Bram Stoker's Dracula. The style was made popular by Horace Walpole's The Castle of Otranto, published in 1764, which influenced many writers such as Mary Shelley and Edgar Allan Poe, as well as 20th century horror stories and movies. Who are called graveyard poets? Graveyard matlab kabristan. Graveyard poets or churchyard poets were a number of pre-romantic poets of the 18th century who wrote meditative poems usually set in graveyard on the theme of human mortality. The term graveyard school refers to four poems: Thomas Gray's Elegy written in a country churchyard, Thomas Parnell's Night Piece on Death, Robert Blair's The Grave and Edward Young's Night Thoughts. What is Hamarshia? Hamarshia is a fatal flaw or big mistake by the protagonist in a tragedy that leads to his or her downfall. The term was coined by Aristotle in his Poetics. Hamarshia ek bada mistake ya fir bhagya mein likha hua koi karm hai jiske karan protagonist ka patan hota hai. For example, in Oedipus Rex, Oedipus unknowingly kills his own father and marries his mother which caused his downfall. What is habaris? Habaris Hindi mein ahankar. Habaris means arrogance and excessive pride. In a literary work, habaris leads to the protagonist's or other character's downfall. What is him? Him matlab dharmik geet. It's a religious song or a poem that praises God. What is haiku? Haiku is a Japanese poetic form that consists of three lines. It has 5 syllables in the first line, 7 in the second and again 5 in the third. What is hyperbole? Hyperbole Hindi mein bada chadhakar bolna. It's a way of speaking or writing that exaggerates something than it really is. For example, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. What is heroic couplet? Heroic couplet is a pair of rhyming lines with iambic pentameter. The term was first used by Geoffrey Chaucer in his work The Legend of Good Women and The Canterbury Tales. Later it was perfected by John Dryden and Alexander Pope in the Restoration Age. What is imitation? Imitation matlab kisi cheez ko copy karna. Greek mein isko mimesis kehte hain. Imitation is the act of copying something or someone. For example, if a painter paints a picture of the sunrise then that painting is a mimesis of the real sunrise plato and aristotle spoke of mimesis as the representation of nature according to plato all artistic creation is a form of imitation he wrote about mimesis in both iron and the republic 
Plato states that, poetry is the art of divine madness or inspiration. Aristotle wrote about mimesis in poetics. What is imagery? Imagery is the language that produces pictures in the minds of reader or listener. For example, it was dark and dim that night. The words dark and dim are visual images that appears to our eyes. Imagery ek tarah ke language hai jo readers ya listeners ke dimag mein ek image yani chitra ankit karta hai. What is irony? Irony is the use of words that say the opposite of what you really mean often as a joke. Example, if it were a cold, rainy grey day, you might say, what a beautiful day. Irony ek tarah ke expression hai, jo kisi shabd ya situation ko vyangya karke darshate hai. Bolte kuch or meaning hota hai kuch or. What is anterior monologue? Anterior monologue is a piece of writing that expresses a character's inner thoughts and feelings. What is imagination? Imagination, Hindi mein kalpna. Imagination is the ability to create images or thoughts in our mind. Coleridge defined imagination is the faculty associated with creativity and the power to shape and unify in his work Biographia Literaria. For example, a poet or artist uses imagination to write poetry or do an artistic work. Imagination are two types, primary and secondary. Primary imagination possessed by all human beings, but secondary imagination possessed by great people like poet, artist, scientist, philosophers, etc. What is fancy? Fancy is a lower form of imagination. Coleridge defined fancy as inferior to imagination, which is merely associative. For example, a designer uses fancy to make a new design of a car or a dress. Fancy bhi ek imagination hai, par ye choti moti kaam ke liye istemal hote hai. Fancy or imagination mein fark itna hai ki imagination usse create karne ke liye use kiya jata hai, jiska creation abhi tak nahi hua hai. पर फैंसी का यूज ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड चीजों को नया बनाने या नया आकार देने के लिए किया जाता है